Hey guys, for the last few days I've been playing around with Freedom Pop's phone and this is going to be the official review. For those of you who don't know, Freedom Pop is offering this phone which costs $100 plus taxes. It cost me $114 with taxes and shipping and everything. But after that, the phone service is free so you don't have to pay a monthly bill or anything. The way this works is it uses voice over internet protocol which is similar like Google Talk and Skype. They give you 200 minutes of voice every month, 500 text messages and 500 megabytes of data every month and it's all for free. If you need more they do offer monthly services but the basic service is just that and there's no cost every month, there's no payment or anything and I'm going to show you how this works. First of all the phone is refurbished so let's check out the phone condition. Some people have said that their phone is in terrible condition. This one is pretty good. The screen, the screen is flawless. There is some discoloring right here but the back is pretty good. It's only the sides but it was going to get like that through normal um, use anyways. So I would give it an 8 out of 10 in phone condition. Um, now a lot of people have complained about the battery quality or how long the battery lasts. And on this phone when I first got it, it only lasted for about 30 minutes which is pathetic. Uh, on October 28, Freedom Pop came out with a new software update for the messaging program and that increased the battery life. It went from 30 minutes to 6 hours. That's a big improvement. But during that time I contacted uh, Freedom Pop and I have to say their customer service is really good. Before they came out with the uh, phone, they had the mobile hotspot the uh, Freedom Pop, the Photon and back then I remember their customer service was horrible and now compared to compare that to now they're pretty good they responded to my uh, comments right away and they they said they're gonna send me a replacement battery so I'll check that out when it gets here but in the meantime six hours not bad now for the um, call quality. The call quality is different for every place. As long as you have a, a strong connection, it gets a good voice quality. And in my house, the voice quality usually gets between two or three bars. And at two or three bars, that's the worst voice quality. But as soon as I go outside, the uh, voice quality gets better. So, in order for you to hear the voice quality, I'm going to give it a try. That was a quick test of the voice quality and as you heard the voice quality isn't the best but it's still understandable and just remember that I was using the speakerphone and the microphone from the camera so you do get some signal loss but it's just an example. Other problems is this phone has is sometimes for no reason it just turns off I don't know why but the phone just turns off and I have also been trying to use the uh, Wi-Fi on this phone and I tried to turn it on and connect to my wireless network at home and it doesn't work 
and I tried it at other spots and for some reason the Wi-Fi isn't working correctly that's another problem this phone has been having and most people have said that their Wi-Fi works so I don't know if it's just my phone but that's another problem and overall I would not recommend this phone service yet to people who need the phone or who need to make calls every day for that I would wait till they fix all the problems because all the problems they've been having are with the phone and the software and they said they're going to be coming out with uh, new other models of phones and until they fix all those problems I would wait right now they're in the beta so they've been testing out all the phones fixing all the problems and that reminds me when um, Freedom Pop Photon came out with their hotspot they had tons of problems but those problems were with customer service shipping and all that stuff but now they fix all those problems and with this new product the problems they've been having is with the phone the quality of the battery or how short it lasts the, the phones because these ones are refurbished and also they put a custom firmware or, or ROM whatever you call it it has a custom software in there and that's been causing some problems so until they fix all those problems I would wait two or three months once they come out of the beta service then sign up for the service because it's free every month and you get free data free text free text messaging and voice and to me that's a pretty good deal but once this fix those problems I'm gonna be canceling my other phone and using that exclusively because even though the voice quality isn't that great in some areas it's still usable alright guys thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below